Yo, internet. So, I got asked some questions about Doctor Who, and I figured I'd try to explain them, because I like Doctor Who, and who knows, maybe I can try to figure out the inner workings of Moffat's mind. Right. So. Moffat leaves a lot of plot holes. And the deal with the Doctor coming back because Amy remembers him, there's a line in there about them being at the center of the storm, so they remember more. And pretty sure that there's also something special about Amy, which will come out later if you keep watching after that. But spoilers, so I'm not going to talk about it. But basically, Amy has this, like, she's at the center of the storm, so she can use this, like, important thing that she has, so when she remembers the universe remembers the doctor, or something like that, if that makes any sense. Alright, so the River Song Doctor thing is a bit difficult to explain without spoilers. It gets answered, kind of, in the Battle of Demons Run or something like that, I think, is season 6. <laughs> But basically, because they're both time travelers, they don't meet in the right order. So the first time the Doctor sees River is the last time she sees him. And I don't think it's exactly reverse order, because that would be weird. But definitely the first time River sees the Doctor, he already knows who she is. So you get weird paradoxes with that, I guess. And... I think Stephen Moffat just threw River in there to have a character that knows a future of the Doctor that the Doctor doesn't know. Also, it is implied that they have had experiences and, like, interactions that aren't shown in the show. So there might be more there that we aren't knowing yet. But basically, no one really knows any of these answers because Stephen Moffat likes leaving us in the dark. Yeah. Bye.